here with Homeschool and Life, and thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a middle school chemistry curriculum, and which I'm going to compare two that I've done, and I'm going to talk to you about which one I liked better. And so yesterday we posted on the physical science, and I compared God's design to Good and the Beautiful, and today I'm going to compare God's design chemistry to um, the Good and the Beautiful chemistry. So. Here are both books, and again, just like yesterday, I have done both of these curriculums because the ages my children are, it's like we're recycling, um, like we're cycling again, you know, where we've had, we've studied this time period in history, it's when we've cycled all the way around, so we're back to it again where they're getting it a second time, and so my top two are getting to be in high school and junior high, so we did this when they were the middle school-ish area, and, uh, nope, I guess I did this one first. This one came second. And so then my younger two are getting up into that middle school time where it's time to cycle again. So um, this is what I've done. I have done both. Now, one is God's Design and one is The Good and the Beautiful. And I am going to share which one I liked. Um, I guess, let's see, what do you guys like to hear first? The, the one I liked second best or the one I liked the best? I guess I'm going to show you the one I liked the best and then I'll compare it to the other one and kind of tell why. Okay, so for chemistry, I liked this, um, the good and the beautiful chemistry for middle school more than I liked the master books, God's Design. And First off, I'm going to kind of show you the layout of the chemistry one. Um, it was very doable. We only had 14 lessons. Um, we did, oh, maybe two to three a week. So when we do these units like this from the Good and the Beautiful, we can get three solid um, science units in a year. And so this one, the activity was not overwhelming. It was easy to do. It was in bite-sized chunks, which were, I think, for chemistry and kids. That really, really, like, worked out very, very good. So, we got a very good idea of mixtures and solutions. And here, oh, in one of these lessons, oh, yeah, this one was all about the states of matter. We actually worked on covalent bonds. I think I'm getting close to it. So we worked on the periodic table, which for middle school, you know, we um, did some extra activities on this. And then we talked about all the types of bonds we made. <laughs> this was fun. We've made, we made elephant toothpaste, which I've actually done before at a vacation Bible school. And we went over the physical properties. Sorry, do I go too fast? We talked about the atom. And here we go. So this section was very good where they talked about isotopes, ions, protons, neutrons, and all the things. I thought that this was bite size enough to give my middle school kids a great basis and understanding before the next time they take chemistry. We built atoms, like I printed off, you know, different things, and then we did different bondings and talked about ionic versus covalent. And we spent actually quite a bit of time on that and they it gave them a really good idea and the law of conservation of mass we did several things for this and so i guess i oh and we did this so um this one i liked the better because the activities were doable the information was like bite size and it gave them a good basis of understanding of the periodic table and some of these um chemistry concept. So for the next time they take chemistry, I think they'll have a very good base and it was not overwhelming at all. So this would be the one that I recommend for middle school. So I'm going to show you this one. And again, we're only talking about the chemistry part on this book, the properties of matter. I thought in my own personal opinion that, well, we did a lot of the scientific method in the other one too that this one was too advanced um, and not fun. That sounds, that sounds kind of bad because I guess as a teacher, I could have made it fun. I always do like their special features. So if you do this one and you just happen to have this one, I do like reading about their scientists and their special, um, special features because I think it gives really good information. But 
to be quite honest with you, it was just a little bit boring, but, <laughs> but it's, as you can see, you're going over volume, you're going over density. It's really good stuff. This one, I just felt like covered it quicker and easier. And we spent like a whole, you know, two or three, two hours, one afternoon doing a lot of those things. And so I think it really sunk in instead of going over and over it. Actually, oh, and we even did buoyancy in this one. Um, here we go to the proper chemical, chemical properties. It was just, I don't feel like I'm really telling you much. I just thought this one was more boring and probably a little bit more information than what my middle school kids needed for to just give them a good basis. I felt like this covered it in a shorter amount of time, more bite size. And so I think they enjoyed it more. So, um, that would just be my recommendation. Again, if you go with this one for middle school, it works. It's wonderful. It's excellent information. But this one was just more doable for me as the mom. Now, this year we did, we were pretty heavy in history because we were covering a new time period in history that we haven't covered. So this was kind of secondary to me. You know, my emphasis was on history. But um, maybe if I really, that was my emphasis, I would have liked this better. But this was perfect for what we needed but i will say i did the ecosystems ones out of this one. Oh, that was so fun that was one of my most favorite science units that we've ever done we did a lot and i think i had i think i did good and the beautiful is one that's similar and um, we built dioramas that year and we talked about like all the ways that ecosystems affect each other so that was really fun oh Maybe this is what I was talking about. Back here, when you get, sorry, switching back gears to the atoms and things. When you get back here where it's talking about the atoms, which I thought that was kind of funky. Like you did the matter and then the third part in the book was the atoms and molecules. It felt like they should go together and that should have been more separate. But, you know, that's just the way my brain works. So, one second. Anyways, I hope that's helpful. Um, again, both of these companies are very good companies. Both of these, your children will learn. Both of them are great, but I did prefer the chemistry better for middle school age from the good and the beautiful, um, to just help them with a more quicker, basic understanding. If you absolutely love chemistry and that's your family's passion, you might want to go with this one because it is, um, more in depth. Than the other one but I feel like you get what you need to know from this one and so just like on my other video about the physical science I told why I preferred the more in-depth one so anyways there's my um, chemistry science review so I hope that's helpful I hope that you enjoy it and I hope um, if you have any questions let me know so if this is helpful please like this video please subscribe uh, Lauren and I love bringing you content we love building the homeschool community over here we love sharing our ideas and helping and just learning from others so just go ahead and subscribe and thank you so much for watching